Welcome to Livestream 121. My name is Lars Christensen. Thank you so much for taking the time to join today's live stream. Today, I'm going to scroll up here to get the title right. Today, we're going to talk about how Fusion Store files, how you can clear the cache, how you can share your model. So this, um, today's topic is important kind of important. But before I get to that, um, I also just quickly got to tell you that there's not going to be any live streams next week uh, because um, I'm going on a team meeting with the Autodesk team talking about what's going to be created in 2018. So I'm going to be offline. Uh, so because of that, uh, I were today my uh, John Saunders, uh, Saunders Machine Works t-shirt. NYCNC. I know most of you guys probably already know John, uh, already watching his channel. But if you get all bored because I am not around next week, uh, then um, check out John's channel if you haven't checked it already. If you're into Fusion, John does awesome work, great stuff. Okay, a little plug for John. He's awesome. So, um, yes, today's topic is very important. I got a few questions uh, in regards to some confusion in regards to how does it really work with Fusion storing files locally versus the cloud? Um, who owns the design? Um, different kinds of things like that. And, and I'm not an expert. Um, I should say right up front, I do work for Autodesk. They do pay uh, me a salary. Um, so I am absolutely a Autodesk employee. But some of the things here, I'm not a specialist. I'm just kind of like, you know, a couple of questions was asked and I just want to do my best to answer them the, to the best of my knowledge. Don't sue me. I don't, I don't make that much money. Don't sue me. So uh, let's talk a little bit about, um, about that. Enough of that. So, let's, so I brought up our good old uh, uh, skeleton cabinet here. Uh, so a couple of things I want to cover. I want to cover how Fusion Store files, how they, the whole cloud thing works, um, backing up files, clear cache on your computer, and then in the end, how I share files. So that's kind of like what we're gonna talk about today. So we have a design inside of Fusion, and most of you guys know that if you save, hits the save icon up here, you make a change, that then it will appear over here in the uh, data panel uh, over here. That's why we have all our live stream files, you will recognize uh, a lot of them over here if you are watching the live stream and if you do thank you i appreciate it um so what happens over here is that fusion is kind of syncing two places when you hit save it saves it locally to your machine but it also saves it up to the cloud so your file exists uh two different places on your machine and up on the cloud um, now, other programs do this as well. Um, Evernote comes to, to mind that, that kind of like does the, does the same thing. Um, there's a couple of advantages for, for this. First of all, you should know that inside of Fusion, if you go to the settings tab up here, go into preferences, um, you can actually um, control um, how much uh, you are, how many days of data that you are saving uh, locally to your machine. Um, so two advantages that comes to mind for me when I'm normally talking about this. One is that um, when you, if you ever worked in, in bigger CAD companies, you know at some point uh, you're going to end up with a lot of files um, and a lot of them are just archived away um, and that's, of course, where the cloud is great, right? Like, think Dropbox. Um, that is one way where uh, it, it works very well. Another way where the cloud works really well is that um, if you ever change computers, and I just had a question about this in the email not long ago. Um, I'm getting a new computer. How do I make sure that I get all my data uh, and everything back to the new computer from the old computer? It used to be like a problem if your hard drive burned out or something. When you log in, you literally can install Fusion 360 on as many computers as you want. Uh, that is not a problem. 
When you use your login to log into Fusion, you are logging into your account and thereby accessing all the, the storage that is up on the cloud. Okay. Now I know, I know that for some people using the cloud is not an option. Um, you know, like government work, there's certain, you know, you just cannot share it up on the cloud. Then Fusion is probably not uh, what you should be looking for. I just had a debate. I have a very good friend of mine who owns a, a shop here locally where I live. And we just had the discussion the other day about storing things in the cloud. And, and he, he is very protective of his customers, rightfully so. Um, and, 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 you know, if this, the cloud is, I mean, Autodesk are using all the, the standard securities, the, I don't know, all this double firewalls and all this stuff. Uh, and I'm going to show you a couple of documents just in a second, um, that, that I will, I should have put in the description area, but email me and I'll, I'll send them to you. Um, Autodesk are using all the, the. I would say the standard right ways to store your files securely. But of course, there's always a chance um, when you're using the cloud. Um, now, one of the things him and I kind of like were laughing about in the end was I asked him if he ever sent files or drawings via email to his customers. And of course, he does that all the time. And I'm like, well, you know, that's the cloud too. So, 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 so just for that. Um, but so it's stored both places. It's stored up in the cloud and it's also stored locally uh, on your computer. Now, like I said, I wanted to share two documents with you uh, that, that I think is important. Um, and I, like I said, I should probably have emailed you, email you those. There's one document that was written uh, that is a Autodesk Fusion 360 security white paper. And it kind of outlines what Autodesk does with data and how it's protected. And as far as I know, and this is maybe where I'm, I'm, I gotta watch out, you know, don't sue me. Um, it, it, we are utilizing um, the, the Amazon kind of cloud service like most companies are using and, and those facility and there's, you know, security, there's all these different things in place for that. But I'll share this document with you if you have a concern. The other question I got that I think is super important is now where my data is out on the cloud, who owns it? Um, this white paper, here, uh, this link here, um, it states here, the content is yours. Um, just because you're using Fusion 360, uh, anything that is up on the cloud belongs to you. Your design is, is yours. It, it's definitely not Autodesk's. Um, and I don't even like, I wouldn't know where to go to, to, to I, I don't even think I can. I don't think it's possible to look at anybody's data. It's secured, it's yours. Um, absolutely. So I just want to make sure, and, and, and those documents are probably a lot more accurate than you should, that you should listen to, to me. I'm kind of like the bust boy in a restaurant kind of thing, right? Like, don't ask me if there was, you know, anchovies in, in the, in the dish, I don't know, I'm just cleaning the table. Uh, so, so, but I just wanna make sure that you know the data is absolutely yours. I wanna make sure that you know that the, the, it is stored up in the cloud. And if you, if, if the cloud is not an option for you, I probably wouldn't recommend Fusion. Now, with that said, um, let's get back to, to Fusion here. Um, so, it's stored locally uh, on your computer, but it's not stored like you are used to when you are working inside of like, um, I don't know, man, um, paint or <laughs> a word or something where you go save and then you find the place you wanna save it at. It saves it uh, kind of like in a cryptic place on your hard drive. And as far as I know, this is my location for mine. So it's like your username, app data, local, Autodesk. And this is the files that are stored uh, locally on my machine by default. And these are the ones that, um, if you're looking at that setting I showed you before, in the preferences where you can change it. So if you have if you have ton of day, uh, room on your computer, change it to 90 days, right? Three months uh, is the last you have used 
Or you can maybe bring it down to 30 days uh, of what you want. And it just means that locally that gets cleaned out within that amount of days. So if you haven't worked on a file for a few days, then um, it hasn't, it, it's not locally. But of course, as soon as you go, um, it has to be 60, okay, minimum 60 days. Um, as soon as you go out and you open up a file that uh, it, you haven't touched in, 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 in months, like if you're scrolling all the way down to the bottom here of some of our first live stream files, anybody remember? Uh, any of these different files. Um, if we went down here, uh, the Align One webinar we did, um, you know, that one has, is not on my computer. When I click on it here, now it gets brought down from the cloud. But, you know, if I make any, now where I worked on it, now it is saved in my cast, just as we, as we spoke here. So I hope that this kind of like makes sense. Now you can, of course, always make backups of your data. Um, if you go up to the drop down here, um, you will see, and I just want to make sure that you see the two different ones. There's a save as. If you click save as, that's just saving it kind of like to the cloud slash locally cache on your computer. But if you click on export, then you can either do it, you can save it the project to the cloud, but you can also now here specify, I want to save it to my computer. So, you know, if you're working on something where you're saying, I want a local copy that stays just like the good old days for the, as long as I want it on this hard drive, go up here and hit export and you can absolutely save that, that copy. That would also be great, of course, if you know you got to be off the cloud uh, for a while. Now, up here on this uh, status bar up here, you can choose if you want to work offline or online. I, again, a couple of people have asked me, you know, they, they work in a company where they're not allowed to be in the cloud at all if they still could use Fusion by turning that off. And Fusion is not really meant to be off the cloud. Um, I actually think that if you're off the cloud for a certain amount of days, when you try to fire off Fusion, Fusion will actually come and say, hey, I need to go on the cloud. So, you know, just be aware of that. So I think I touched on that. Store files, so it stores files both places um, up on the cloud. The designs are absolutely yours. You own them. Um, if you are on a subscription basis and you cancel your subscriptions, your files are still available uh, up on the cloud, um, a minimum 30 days or so. Like you have time to, to get them down locally if you want to. And let me just show you that piece. Um, you can always get to your, so this is kind of like your cloud, but if you click up here on live streams, on your name, sorry, not live streams, because you wouldn't have that unless you created this. If you click up here on, uh, on the top, whatever you're in, it will open up um, the browser and now you're out on the cloud out here. And uh, so this is what you can access if you cancel your subscription or something. And you can go up here and we could find like the airfoil we did yesterday. You can now click export here and here you actually get some, whoops, here you actually get some more uh, options. Uh, so the Fusion Archive will kind of like be saving a, a Fusion file, but of course here you can also convert it into um, two other other formats uh, in here. So that's kind of like this different places you can you can kind of save it. You can go out here, save it here, or you can go into your good old trusted Fusion uh, and go to the export um, and, and 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 do it do it here. Um, Another thing I just wanted to touch on um, is that if I delete a file, so this align file, if I right click right now um, and I hit delete, that um, it will be deleted off your, your, your computer. It will also, of course, be deleted off, um, of the servers up in the cloud. However, I do believe that your data is living uh, backups are, are living different places. So it might just take a few minutes for all the deletes uh, to, uh, 
to be deleted. Another thing I just wanted to bring up too, I hope that this is, I hope this is good. I just want to make sure we clarify all this because this is, this is the stuff that, well, I would be asking. And, and if my boss, you know, when I used to work at Ritlam, he would definitely be asking me to explain this. Um, so another thing I wanted to, to, to bring up is um, that inside of uh, Fusion, if, if ever you have, and it shouldn't happen very often, but if there is ever a crash, one of the things that Fusion does is it has in the code that developers wrote in where it will always, the last thing it does before it crashes is actually saving. It's kind of amazing they can do that. And if you have any documents uh, where you crash, you can find a little box will pop up right when you open up Fusion. You've probably seen that. But if you just exit out of that by mistake, you can always go in here and where it says recover documents, those uh, will live in there. So that's, that is, is, is kind of uh, important. So, um, so I think it's extremely important. Yes, it lives in both places, cloud and locally. Uh, Fusion is kind of meant to work that way. So if, if you cannot be on the cloud at all, if it's absolutely just make sure you don't use email with your like, don't send your customer emails with your files or drawings in it because that's cloud too. Um, and that is not as secure as these files are because these are behind firewalls or whatever it is. Uh, it is working that way up on the cloud and locally. And that's how it's meant to work. Uh, we have other products like, like Inventor is a good, you know, if you cannot go on the cloud, Inventor is probably uh, a better uh, solution for you. Uh, the design is absolutely yours, nobody else's. Uh, it's not Autodesk, they don't own anything. They're, this is not the business we're in. It's not, nobody have access to that. Um, like I showed you, you can absolutely create uh, backups of your data if you, if you, if you want to, to create backups. So go up and use the, um, the export function, drop down export function. And then the other thing I wanted to talk about is a, a fairly new function that was added in here um, is that up, if you go now moving from over here, all the way over here to the question mark, um, the development team did put in a clear user cache data function. Clear user cache data function. What that will do is it will clean up, and now I close my window where I had um, where the local files are stored here, and they're kind of like buried as, you know, um, as code. That will clear that out. So, you know, you work on, on somebody else's computer, and you kind of like want to, you know, clear that computer out, or you got to get rid of that computer, you want to clear it out. That function is over here to clear that cache out. Just make sure <laughs> that it's synced with the cloud if you <laughs> want to get that data later on. Right, like don't work on your part. Hit save here, and then you know don't you, you have the sync button up here. You can click here, and now you'll see that Fusion is syncing. <laughs> but don't click save and just go over and hit uh, clear user cache. If it doesn't have a chance to sync it up to the cloud, then at least there it is it is lost. Um, you know this whole thing about the cloud and the data following you is. Uh, I actually had an experience with that that I thought was absolutely super cool. Uh, last year, I went with one of the product managers to Penn State to do a presentation on Fusion. And, um, you know, of course, I brought my laptop with all my things on it. Uh, Colin Smith, who was a product manager, was presenting first, and then I was going to present after. And Colin was like, why don't you just log in on my computer with your username when it's time to your present? Then we don't have to switch laptops. Um, and I thought, wow, I hadn't even thought of that. So, and, and it worked like that. I literally logged in and boom, there was all my files, the window that I see. So, so that is absolutely one of the, one of the nice things. Um, okay, so then the last thing uh, I had on my, my thing here was a lot of people asking me about then sharing files uh, because like I said, most people will, an older CAD and CAM system will do a save as, or export and save a, a file they can hold in their hand uh, that they then attach to an email and send to the customer. But of course, as I just said, now you're breaking all security rules, don't do that. <laughs> um, how can we do it inside of Fusion? And I, I know I've shown this before, but I'm gonna keep on showing it. 
uh, you can't stop me. <laughs> um, click on the window over here, right click. And the way I do it is I say share public link. Click on that. This window opens up. And if you hit this little toggle button over here, uh, Fusion will give you a, a link that you can then copy and paste into your email. Uh, you can even add a password if you, if you want to. But now what happens is that the customer just gets a link or whoever you're sending it to, your friends, whatever, um, and they can click on that and that will open up the file so they can download it. It will actually open it up in, in the viewer that is found out online and uh, that viewer is actually pretty cool. You don't have to download anything or anything. It, it happens out in, in the web. Um, if you go into um, the air file we had yesterday, it would actually open up for the user when they click on that link in, um, in this window. So here's yesterday's file. Um, and they can do all kinds of things, section analysis, measure, all this stuff, and then they can click up here and they can get that file uh, downloaded. All right, so that was kind of like what I plan on coming today. I, I, I felt like this was really, really important for me to show. Um, if you're looking for the white paper on Fusion 360 um, uh, security, if you want to read through it, absolutely uh, send me an email and make sure you get it. Also, uh, this legal notice, I like this one. Uh, uh, this one is good, kind of like have a terms and conditions and, and sh t talks a little bit about all this stuff. This is stuff that, you know, I think is important uh, that, that, you know, that you, that you know about uh, know about these um, you know what I, I just sitting here thinking about this one of the questions I get is can you put the link in your YouTube information panel um, I'm gonna do it in the live stream right now but I just realized that I could actually be I don't want to attach it to the video because there could actually be um, some chance for this being being redone right and then I don't want all links to live out on the videos but email me and I'll make sure that I'll get you uh, I'll get you that I can see that in the in the chat window, it have been all busy. Uh, people are talking about um, you know what is what is you know these issues uh, that is going around um, and the security of the cloud. And I, I I'll be the first one to say I think it's fair enough to be concerned. You know, uh, customer confidentiality and all this stuff. I think that's that's perfectly fine. I honestly believe that Autodesk are taking all the precautions that. They should, but that's my personal opinion about it. Um, and 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 like I said, we do have other options, like Inventor, if you want to to be uh, completely out. But I wanted to be kind of like, you know, coming forward with this. I think it's legit to have the the discussion. My email address is down in the in the description area. If you have any specific questions, I will definitely try to push you towards some people who can maybe answer them better better than I can. All right, so. I hope that was useful, just kind of like from that perspective. Some people probably already knew this. Like I said, but tomorrow, and we got Friday with, with live streams. Next week, no live streams. Um, I am going away to talk about what my team, uh, the team I'm on, not my team, I'm on a team, uh, what we're going to do for 2018. Hopefully continue doing live streams. Um, don't forget John Saunders, NYCNC. If you are looking for more uh, Fusion content, he's definitely one of the guys to, uh, to, uh, to check out for that. So... Hope this was useful in some way. I didn't get in and do anything it's particularly crazy in Fusion, but you know. Um, that's it. Tonight, 8 p.m. Eastern uh, on Facebook. Going to do a live stream there at 8 o'clock. I'm going to have a beer. I'm going to take you through. You can ask, ask any questions during the live stream. I will stop whatever I'm doing and answer those. That's at 8 p.m. I will upload it to here to YouTube uh, over the weekend too, so you get a, a chance to get it there. I'm going to end the broadcast here and jump into the live stream and say hi to everybody in the chat. Thank you so much for taking the time to, um, to watch this. I really appreciate it. And uh, until tomorrow, have an awesome day. Take care.